Are you truly feeling your abdominals when you're doing abdominal exercises? This is a big question and I wanted to come on here live and talk to you exactly about that because truth is, chances are you're not. And I know this because I've been working with women for a decade now and even in my own experience of starting exercise when I was in my 20s, I realized I was getting jack squat out of my abdominal exercises and then I was wondering to myself, why aren't I seeing results? So if you've never been here before, my name is Dominique. I am the owner of Body Mind Fitness located in London, Ontario. I'm a personal trainer, a yoga teacher who specializes in core and pelvic health. But on top of that, I also love integrating strength practices and making pelvic health a whole body experience so you get to your goals faster because I've been there. I have been working my tail off to reach certain goals and I just wasn't getting there. And it wasn't until I truly dove into educating myself on the deep inner workings of the body that I realized exactly what was missing. So today I wanted to take you through dead bug, which is actually one of the exercises that I've included in my strong core toolkit. It's seven simple strategies to getting a stronger core. And I've put that link in the description so you can go grab your free copy uh, right now. And I wanna give you more of the visuals. There's lots of photos in there, but I wanna make sure that you can see what dead bug is all about. Hey Jules, so nice to see you. Um, thank you, I'm really excited to share this great topic. So we're gonna get right to it. So the only thing that I recommend you need is maybe a blanket, especially if you're working on a wood floor like I have. If you've got carpet, no big deal. So oftentimes what happens when we are going through different types of exercises is we start to mimic what we're seeing, whether we're live in a class or doing our workouts online at home, whatever the case may be, we see a movement and we try to do that exact movement without paying much attention into where are we feeling that particular movement? What are the little nuances of that particular movement? Is your core truly engaged in that particular movement? Because you can include the core in just about every exercise out there. So in the example of dead bug, we typically start off on our hands and knees, and some people will tell you wrists under shoulders, knees underneath the hips, um, which you can certainly do, but also make sure you're just really comfortable. And if we were to go through the true version of dead bug without any regressions, progressions, anything, I would then tell you to go ahead and reach your right leg back and your opposite left arm forward. And you can go up and down or some people choose to hold. That's really indifferent. So we go through this motion and one of the common things that I end up seeing in this core exercise is this big dip in the lower back to get the arm and the leg up higher. And when this is happening, I know for a fact there is no contraction of the abdominals happening whatsoever. When we are fully connected, we should be feeling it in the core. We should be feeling it in the bum. We should be feeling it in different areas of the body. And this is really interesting because dead bugs are one of those rehab style workouts that are given to people who have pelvic floor dysfunction that are given to people after that they've had abdominal surgery. So let's break it down a little bit and give you some really simple steps in order to start to feel more out of that dead bug. So if you haven't tried that out where you just lift your opposite arm and leg, go ahead, give it a try before I spill the beans, um, just so you can start to feel. What are you feeling in your body? Are you feeling anything? Or are you just sort of balancing off of your joints. So we're going to come back to that hands and knee position. So the first thing you're going to do is just start to analyze how your hands feel on the floor, how your knees feel on the floor. And I'm willing to put some money on the fact that it feels pretty evenly distributed between two hands. So equal pressure in two hands, equal pressure in two knees. So for instance, if you were to go ahead and lift one arm off the floor without doing anything, now what are you feeling? What are you feeling in your hand? Are your knees still equally pressing into the floor? When it comes to dead bug itself, we tend to lift one body part off the floor and then we sort of dump the body weight into whatever's left over in the body. And because the hand is on one side of the body, we're now starting to shift our body in strange ways. And that's where you're not feeling the, the pressure equal between both of the knees. So let's come back down to this position. So let's start off with the idea of taking a breath in and then as you exhale, just start to press the floor away with your hands and your knees, okay? That's all you're gonna do for now, okay? Inhale, let go of that pressure. Exhale, press into the floor with the hands and knees and just start to notice what you feel, okay? 
Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what you're feeling, I just want you to start to analyze what you are feeling in your own body. Then we're gonna to start to incorporate the breath. So I have two cues that really start to fire up the core with the breath. One of them is balloon breath. So we inhale, and I want you to think about inhaling three-dimensionally. So your rib cage is widening in all directions, not just through the front of the body. And then exhale through pursed lips like you're trying to blow up a balloon. Now, really commit to this balloon thing, otherwise I would have just said, purse your lips and blow out through the mouth. But when we're blowing up a balloon and we're working against that resistance of the balloon, we tend to get a lot more core firing. So I could just go, and you don't see much of anything. When I think about the balloon, I hope you saw that like big contraction happening through my abdominals. And that's what I want you to go for. The abdominals don't like to work hard and they will look for any reason on the face of the planet to cheat and that includes shifting the body weight into other parts of the body. So we're gonna use this style of breath. If you happen to have never blown up a balloon in your life and you have no idea what I'm talking about, think about stiffening the spine, not just with the back of the body, but with the entire torso. So taking again that three-dimensional breath in, exhale, stiffen your spine. This one's a little bit more subtle. This one tends to fire up the whole area of the body and different cues are gonna resonate differently for you. The thing I like about the balloon breath is we are talking about the abdominals today and I wanna make sure that we're getting that sensation. So then we come back to the hands and knees. So maybe where you start is just with that whole idea of pushing the floor away and integrating the breath. So again, balloon breath, stiffening the spine, you choose. If you want to take it a little bit further, maybe we take the right toes back and we still press the floor away, but this time we're also going to lift the toes. So three-dimensional breath in, exhale, inhale, toes come back down. You can even try adding the hand. but I would only add the hand if it truly feels harder than just doing the leg. Otherwise, stick with the leg for now, build confidence strength from that movement, and then move into adding the opposite hand lifting because sometimes I feel like there's a little bit too much brain gym happening where what arm is lifting with what leg and what's happening. <laughs> we sometimes get a little bit lost with it. So I encourage you to give this a try. If you love what you saw in the video today, head over to that link in the description, download the Strong Core Toolkit, seven simple steps to a stronger core. And if you have any questions, I'd love to see them in the comments. Thank you, Jules. Yes, I, I try to work on those very detailed cues. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I wanna hear them. I wanna know what you think and I need to know what you're working towards so I can bring you the content that is gonna serve you best. So as always, I'm gonna just take a seat here. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming out today and I look forward to chatting with you again really soon. Thanks again, bye.